Hello, I'm Andrew Gibson, the Head of Development at Jelly Pie Software. In this short video, I'm going to show you how 3D BoxShop Pro can be used to solve a headache that many independent software developers face, how to make Windows 7 icons. Windows 7 introduced a new scary type of giant icon. With a pixel resolution of 256 by 256 programmer art will simply no longer cut it at this size. Not bothering isn't really an option if you care about how your customers perceive your products. Let's have a look at how standard XP and Windows 7 icons compare when the thumbnail view is set to extra large in Windows 7. As you can see, applications with an extra large Windows 7 icon stand out and look much better than applications with a standard icon. Uh, somewhat surprisingly, Google Chrome is one of these. If you only have a Windows XP icon for your app, Windows 7 just renders it in the middle of a white box. OK, so how can 3D Box Shop Pro help? Well, one thing you may have noticed if you've ever tried the demo of 3D Box Shop Pro is that it has some rather nice thumbnail images of the packaging types it contains. These are actually made in 3D Box Shop Pro. As well as exporting massive print quality images of up to 67 megapixels in resolution, the rendering engine can also create beautifully anti aliased thumbnail images. The thumbnail images in 3D Box Shop Pro are actually 64 by 64 in size. It's the times 8 anti-aliasing that 3D Box Shop Pro applies that makes them look as good as they do at 64 by 64. One simple and easy option to avoid the graphics design headache of making an icon specifically for Windows 7 is to use your application's box shot as an icon. All you need to do is set up a scene in 3D Box Shop Pro exactly how you like it, then export an image from the program at 256 by 256 don't forget to select a transparent background. Once you've saved the .pgn file from inside 3D Box Shop Pro, it's time to turn it into a .ico icon file. The application we're going to use to do this is called ICOFX. This is a freeware pro product you can download from http forward slash forward slash icofx.ro. You can see the website up here on the screen. So let's fire up ICOFX and run through the steps required to make an icon that supports the eye-popping detail of 256 by 256 Windows 7 icons. So if we click on the ICOFX icon, the application will start up. Um, it's rather nice in the sense it's got a browsing tool here, so we can immediately see the uh, box shot uh, image that we created in 3D Box Shot Pro. OK, so the first thing we need to do is import the ping file we made in 3D Box Shop Pro. Um, there are a couple of ways to do this in uh, ICOFX. Uh, the simplest method is to just click on the image. Uh, however, if it's not located within this tree controller, easy to find, you can use File, Import Image. OK, so what I'm going to do is click on the box shot of, uh, that we made in 3D Box Shop Pro. This will bring up uh, the new image window. Now, you have to be careful here to ensure that true colour plus alpha channel 32 bits is selected. This will result in a Windows 7 style icon that has a nice transparent background. Uh, it's also a good idea to make sure you specify that the 256 by 256 option is available and then simply click OK. Uh, this will now create uh, the 256 by 256 image. As you can see that's currently showing at 200%. Here we can move it down so we look at it, its actual size and as you can see that's a nicely detailed image that's clearly got a transparent background and it will make a pretty good icon. 
So once you loaded the image in, what you need to do now is turn it into an icon. You can do this simply by selecting Icon, Create Windows Icon from Image. You can then specify uh, the various different types and sizes of icons that will be created within, within the ICO file. We're just, just going to leave the values as default here. If we click OK, the program will just work out uh, the relevant sizes. So there we are. We've got a rather nice looking uh, icon. So to export this from the program, all we need to do is go to File, Save As. It will auto save it as an ICO file. So we'll call that Galactic Soft and save it to the desktop. OK, so let's have a look how our icon looks once the extra large icon view is selected. If we scroll down, we should see it on the desktop here. And there it is, a rather impressive looking 256 by 256 icon. Now you could of course uh, use this icon for your installer as well as your main application. Um, and I think you'll agree this was quite a simple process to do. So there we have it, the easy way to create Windows 7 icons using 3D Box Shop Pro. You can download the demo version of 3D Box Shop Pro from www.3dboxshop.com. You can also stay up to date with all the developments on 3D Box Shot uh, Pro by following us on Facebook. Finally, I'd just like to say thanks for your time today and thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it useful.